Well, hey, out there in the world, Dave here. And uh, I've been working in the yard today, trying to, I got squirrels all in my garden. They're eating my new plants that I planted, so been dealing with that. But uh, I listen to the radio when I'm out here, so most of the time I listen to podcasts or different things. And one thing that I wanted to address in this video that I keep hearing all the time from these conservative morons is how did Biden get 81 million votes? So I decided to explain to people how Biden got 81 million votes. Number one, I am not a liberal. I'm a gun owner, born in Texas, grew up on 12 acres, was in the Future Farmers of America, uh, played football, baseball, basketball, ran track, uh, president of the quiz bowl team, student council, had sex with my girlfriend in high school so I wasn't an incel, got in fist fights with people in high school, drank beer, all that fun stuff. So I wasn't one of these soy boys. So, uh, but did I vote for Biden? Yes. But the reason I voted for Biden, and I think the reason why a lot of people voted for Biden, is not because we give a shit about Biden. It's because 81 million Americans hated Trump that much. Trump was a fool. If you watch any of my videos, you understand that I hate stupid people and idiots. And Trump was the apex idiot. He was a fool. He talked like a fool. He had authoritarian leanings. When COVID happened, he tried to cover it up, but then later on came out and tried to do stuff. And I wanted to address that. Now I know people on Fox and people on Twitter and all these Charlie Kirk and all of these morons, they think that, you know, they talk about the Biden crime family. Like, like I'm gonna cry, like I'm gonna have liberal tears. I don't give a fuck. If Hunter did shit, send that fucker to jail. I don't care. If Biden did shit, send his fucking ass to jail. I don't care. I just hate Trump. And then they, then they say, oh, well, we're going to hurt the liberals and the people that voted for Biden by going after Fauci. I don't care about Fauci. Do you think I'd give a shit if he goes to prison? I don't care. He's not my grandpa. He's not my dad. He don't give me money. I don't give a shit. That's what I think is funny about all these conservative people is they think by talking about the Biden crime family or going after Fauci that people that voted for Biden give a crap. I don't care. Go after them. Send them to prison if they did wrong. I don't care. I hated Trump. I hate his whole family. I hate his sons. I hate his daughter. I hate Jared Kushner. I hate Melania. I hate Barron. They're a bunch of elitist oligarchs that suck. His show sucked. He's an idiot. I've always hated him. He can't even run a goddamn casino without going broke. I'm not a soy boy. And if you think talking shit about Hunter Biden and about Fauci is going to hurt my feelings or break my heart, fuck it, I don't care. The thing is that you don't understand is 81 million people didn't vote for Biden. We voted against Trump. And you think <coughs> that we were all scared because of COVID. Well, everyone was scared when COVID first came out because we didn't know what it was. So I know I work in the medical field and I know there's a bunch of fools out there that think it wasn't real. I had patients dying. I was losing five, 10 patients a week when COVID was kicking. So I don't care what you think. I witnessed it with my own eyes. But the thing about it is, is I hear all these conservative people's like, they, sh they shut down the churches. They shut down the businesses. I'm telling you right now, me personally, I voted for Biden. But did I want the churches shut down? Hell no. I am an atheist. I wish they would have kept the churches open because I'd have been happy to see all these foolish Christians get COVID and croak. 
Did I want it shut down? Leave the churches wide open. Let them all go to church and let God cure them or take care of them. The businesses. Did I want the businesses shut down? Hell no. At the time, I was trying to buy a house and everything was shut down and it pissed me off. Um, so the way I looked at it is when COVID was going on, all that mattered to me was my family. I took care of my family. Me, my wife, and my daughter never, till this day, ever tested positive one time for COVID. We got, all three of us got the first two shots from Pfizer. After that, we didn't get no boosters or nothing like that. We had no side effects from any of the shots. And we're fine. Never even caught COVID once. And me and my wife both work in the medical field. So, me personally, I think that the world is overpopulated anyway. When COVID first came out, I remember me and my brother-in-law were down in Corpus Christi and we were crab, we were crabbing because we were going to have this big cookout on Saturday and invite a bunch of friends over and have a good time with the kids and just have fun. And I remember we were in the truck and we were driving back. And because I work in the medical field, he was asking me, he's like, what do you think about COVID, Dave? And I was like, you know, really, to be honest with you, it could be bad. And I told him, I said, you know something, Mickey? I hope it's like the Black Death. And he laughed and he's like, what do you mean? Why do you want it to be like the Black Death? And I said, well, you know, the Black Death, it killed one third of the population of Europe. I said, just imagine if COVID does that. I said, that's going to open up so much opportunity. There's going to be all of these businesses and homes on the market and people that make money and have money are going to be able to really take advantage of the situation and there's going to be less workers so that's going to give you more opportunity to negotiate salary so i looked at COVID as a positive thing and in the long run COVID actually was a positive thing to me i've made more money working in the medical field than i ever have in my entire life during COVID. i was easily making after taxes two grand a fucking week during COVID. I loved COVID. COVID was awesome. COVID got me my house. COVID got me money in the bank. COVID got all of my debt paid off except my house. So was I excited about COVID? When it first came out, I was a little worried about it. But then as I seen it coming along and seeing the way it worked, you know, I just you know, we wore masks when we went out and I just stayed away from big groups of people and we were fine. And that's what I think is so funny about it. All of you people out there that were crying about it. Keep your damn churches open. I didn't go to them. Keep the movie theaters open. I don't go to them. Keep your big crowded bars open. I don't go to them. I don't even drink. So I didn't care. Y'all can all go take home because I was hoping more of y'all would die so that I, who had money in the bank and was making money, could take advantage of the situation i remember talking to my friend who's a nurse as well and i was like dude i'm hoping that when COVID ravages everybody i said i'm saving money right now and i'm looking to like possibly you know try to buy properties that come on the market i was hoping COVID was going to take out more people than it did so to be honest with you i kind of looked at COVID as a financial opportunity so anyway Going back to the 81 million votes. That's why. Trump was an idiot. I hate Trump. Anytime. And I don't even really vote. I just vote against Trump. I voted against Trump in 2016. I'll, I voted against Trump in 2020. And if he's, in the, if he's on the ballot in 2024, even though I don't really give a shit about voting, I'll register and vote again just to vote against him because I hate him. Because when I look at him, he's like the stupidest, fattest, like when I listen to him talk, it just makes me want to throw up. I'm like, you know, and all his stupid conspiracy theories and then his followers. Oh, my God. You guys are the biggest idiots. Like I hear y'all say all the time. Well, people that voted for Biden, they don't have big jacked up truck rallies with flags all over the truck. And they don't have boat rallies and they don't wear hats and they don't wear shirts. No, because I'm not an idiot. See, the reason why y'all do that is because y'all have been brainwashed your whole lives through Christianity to follow a father figure. So you can't, you know, you believe in Jesus and God, but you can't see him. So when Trump came along, you just, you know, he became your new father figure. And like you wear your crosses and your what would Jesus do 
bracelets and stupid ass shirts. He started doing the same thing with Trump. And just like you do your Christian bullshit, your Easter celebrations, all that, that was your boat rallies and your truck rallies and your flags and all that crap. It's because you've been conditioned and brainwashed to be sheep. That's why Jesus calls you sheep, because you, you're idiots. And, you, and it's funny, because I always say, you guys always talk about how you're so fucking awake. You guys are the most asleep idiots I've ever seen. You fall for anything. You fall for med beds. You fall for Q. You fall for Trump's election lies. You people give him money left and right, and he just fucking laughs at you. That's why Trump says, I love the poorly educated. Because all of you idiots are poorly educated. You may say, well, man, I went to college. I, I got a degree. Yeah, there's a difference between book smarts and street smarts. And anybody that goes to Trump's rallies, buys his crap, gives him money, definitely don't have no street smarts. So, this is Dave Zoe Zizzles. You're idiots. And that's how Biden got 81 million votes.